China has changed profoundly in the past four years. Under its leader, Xi Jinping, the country took a hard authoritarian turn. Presidential term limits were abolished. Control tightened. Xi Jinping, as we all know, is going to stay in power beyond 2023, so for a longer period of time than his predecessors. And no one is in a position to challenge him. From the South China Sea to the border with India, China's military grew more assertive, especially towards Taiwan, the democratic island that China claims as part of its territory. I think Xi Jinping wants uh, from Joe Biden to go back to the Obama administration's uh, policy, to put it simply, put pressure on Taiwan. During his campaign for the presidency, Biden refrained from naming China as America's enemy labeling it instead a strategic competitor, just as the Trump administration had. Biden has boasted he knows Xi better than any other world leader, having met him frequently when both were vice presidents. But he's also promised to be tougher on China than President Donald Trump. He embraces guys like the thugs like in North Korea and, and, uh, and the Chinese president. Analysts predict that many of Trump's China policies will likely remain, including tariffs on Chinese imports, so prospects of a reset in Sino-US ties seem unlikely. In the short term, they're, they're not great. Neither side wants a reset, frankly. And the other factor is, is that nothing in what the US's early signals that they're giving through Biden and his staff shows that they're particularly pushing for a reset. The new US president says human rights will be a foreign policy priority. Last August, his team accused China of genocide against ethnic Uyghurs in the far western region of Xinjiang. Another likely point of friction, the intensifying clampdown on dissent in Hong Kong. For China's leaders, the past four years represent the lowest point in relations in decades. To improve them will require significant goodwill from both sides. But President Xi's hands may be tied. This year marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of China's Communist Party, when members will be celebrating the party's achievements. And that may include standing up to the United States. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.